In this video, we are going to finish the work related to the event. If this is your first time watching my YouTube channel, this video is actually part of a full course on React Native and Golang. So if you want to watch the full course, make sure you click on the link on the description. All right, so let's do a couple of changes on the modules of the event. Let's start by doing the obvious thing here, which is just adding our tags in here for the JSON. So for the IG, it's gonna be, oh, not this, it's gonna be just IG. Let's say Garmin here, which will be primary key for the name. This is gonna be JSON name. Let's just copy this. So for the date, let's just say date created at. All right, so let's also change the ID from a string to a unsigned integer. And let's also change down here from a string to unsigned integer. And instead of passing the, the actual structure here, let's just pass its pointer. And we are going to update this and add two more methods in here. So let's do update one. And this is gonna be event ID. And as this one is an update one, let's just pass the data that GoArm will we use to update the fields. And this is gonna be update data. And this is gonna be a map string interface. And that will return the same, this one returns. Let's just copy and that's it. All right, so the last one is gonna be the delete one. Which is gonna be very similar to this one. And the delete one will just return an error. All right, so let's now update our handlers. So for the get many, it is already pretty good. We don't have to do any changes in here, but we don't have anything for the get one and the create one. So let's update those. For the get one, we want to do the following. String conf, let's get that from the event params. As you can see here, we have that on the event params. Event ID. And we are going to turn that into from a string into an integer. And then what we're going to do is the following. Let's actually just copy the context because this is going to be very similar. Let's, let's put the context in here. We are going to use the, the repository now. So let's do the following. We want an event error from handler repository get one. And this needs a context and event ID, which right now is an integer, but we actually need this to be uh, an unsigned integer. And this converted that. All right, so that's good. So let's handle the errors. Status badge request. JSON appointed to fiber the map. Let's send status. It's gonna be fail. And a message, let's just say error. All right, if we don't have any errors, we want to just send the event. So let's do that. It's gonna be status okay. Let's send the same JSON. Pointer to fiber down map. Success. Let's just send an empty string in here. And the data is just our event. All right, so for the create one, let's initialize a new model in here, which is going to be the event. Let's have the context, which is going to be the same. And what we want to do in here is basically get all of the data from the body and 
fill this with those data. So we wanna use the body parser from Fiber. So let's do that. If error, body parser. And our destination is gonna be the event. Let's have an error in here. Let's copy this one. All right, so for the error in here, let's just say status unprocessable entity. And let's just say data is new. All right, so in case we actually have valid data inside of the body and we have our mod in here filled with data, we want to now send that to the repository and get the event back. So let's do that. Let's pass the context and let's pass the event. All right, so this part is gonna be very similar to this one. So let's just grab this piece of code and paste that in here. So if we have an error when we are trying to create a new one, we will just return a status fail and the error. And if everything works fine, just a status. Status created and status success message. We don't need anything. Maybe you can just uh, say event created, event created, that's fine. And for our data, we just send the event. So let's add the new endpoint in here. And obviously the handlers. And we don't have those yet, so let's create them. All right, so we need the event ID from the param. So let's do the same we did here on the get one. Let's copy this part and let's paste that in here. So let's make a map of string with values interfaces. And as always, our context and we also want to do the body parser in here. So let's copy that and paste that in here. And let's change this from event to update data. And this needs to be a pointer. And if everything goes fine, let's use the repository, which is going to return an event error from handler repository update one. Let's pass the context the event ID, which automatically turns into an unsigned integer. And let's pass the update data. And the rest of the code in this handler is gonna be very similar to this one. So let's just grab this and paste that in here. All right, so for the delete one, let's do the same. It's gonna be a method receiver from event handler. Delete one. Fiber context, which returns an error. We also want the event ID. So let's copy that from the update one. Let's copy our context. For the delete one operation from the repository is gonna be a bit different. This, we only return an error. Repository, delete one. Let's just pass the context and the event ID. So let's copy this part for the error. And if everything goes fine, let's just do, let's just return. Send status, no content. Let's update now our repository. So for the get menu, let's keep the same. Let's just do one update in here, which is gonna be order. And let's say update one descending. So that looks good. Let's now update the get one. So event, it's an event model. We're gonna have our response error db 
module event where the ID is the event ID and let's grab the first one all right so for the error handling it's gonna be very similar to this one so let's just copy this and we want to return the event all right so for the create one it's gonna be very similar to this so let's just copy this and this is now gonna be just a module event it's gonna be a pointer and in here instead of where we just want to do create all right so let's create our two new methods let's say r event repository update one this is gonna have the context the event id and it's gonna have the update data Let's copy this because this function is going to return the same. All right, so for the update data, let's initialize a new event module. We will actually do two operations in here. So let's call the first operation update response. And this updates the update data, which will just be the fields that we want to update if we have an error. But actually, let's just copy this. And instead of response, let's call this update response. All right, so the second operation here is gonna be a get one. So let's call this get response. event ID let's grab the first one the error is gonna be very similar so let's grab this let's copy this and let's replace this so if everything goes fine let's just return the event and error is gonna be new all right so for the last method let's add the delete one This is gonna be the shortest of all. So let's do r.gp delete. And we do need to pass a module event in here. So let's do modules event and let's pass the event ID we want to delete. And let's just return response error. If there is an error, we are returning the error. If there is no error, it's gonna be new. Let's check why this is complaining. So our get one actually has a string instead of unsigned integer. Let's fix that. Let's change this one to unsigned integer and it looks good now. So let's actually restart the server. All right, so with the server running, let's open Postman to test our endpoints. So let's create a new collection here and let's call this ticket booking. Let's create a new folder. Let's call this event. Let's call this just event. Let's add a request. So let's use some environment variables in here so we don't repeat ourselves all the time. So let's go to environment. I actually have this done in here. So I call this ticket booking to be the same as the collection and I added in here the URL which is basically the localhost endpoint we are using for our web server and then slash API. 
So after you create the environment variables, make sure you go to this tab and you select the ticket booking so you can have access to those variables. So let's say in here, URL event. So if we send this now, we obviously get an error because we don't have this column. That was a mistake. So let's fix this now. This is actually update updated at. So let's try to run that again. And we have an empty array in here, an empty slice because we don't have any events yet. So let's actually create the post one, but actually let's call this get many just like that so let's create the post one add request this is going to be a post to this endpoint let's send a body raw json let's say the name it's going to be dead Oops. name let's give it a location location Let's just say Madrid and let's post this. All right, so we have our event now. So let's now try to create the get one to get this event. But obviously let's call this post one. All right, so for the get one, it's gonna be very, very simple. Let's already call this get one. So there we have it. It's our event we just created, that Madrid. Let's actually now try again to get many. So we have a, an array containing the event we just created. So let's try to post a new one. Let's call this one TED2. Let's go back to get many and we should have two events in here. And we do have. All right, so let's now create the the patch one to update a, an event. And let's try to update the name. So let's change the name in here but one and let's send that. All right, so the name is updated. Let's do again many just to make sure. All right, so for the last one, let's just try to delete this one that we just did an update. Let's send the request. Let's try now to get all the events available and that one was deleted all right so that's it for this lesson on the next one we are going to start working on the tickets so see you on the next one